be a challenge for the offensive line to uh, stop this defense that uh, is the best in the NFL. The Patriots have a great defense. It's absolutely going to be a really hard time for our whole offense. Uh, they do a great job, it's especially the front guys are, are big, heavy guys that really run, uh, read the run really well, they stop really well, they really commit to making it really tough, and then they have a bunch of guys that work really well together that do a lot of different complex things. Feeling good? We're just not really going to talk too much about injuries right now. I think we're going to be smart and we're going to be ready for game day. Vic, how are we doing? It's been really exciting you know, to be here on this stage so quickly. Uh, I know we had a good team here in Atlanta when I joined it. Uh, and to have so quickly, it, you know, get to the playoffs and then have us just really get on a hot streak and be here at the big stage is really exciting and I'm really uh, happy. Do I need to talk more to this? Yeah. Yeah. Did, 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 did that I know it's really tough to make it to the Super Bowl. I know it, it takes a, a, a whole season of a lot of guys playing really well. And early in your career, you're excited about one day having the opportunity to do that. And then it, it's tough. The games are tough to win. And, and with my time in Cleveland, you know, we were just trying to get the winning schedule and make it to the playoffs. And to, this year, to come to Atlanta and have the opportunity to you know, play well enough for the season, win enough games, for a chance in the playoffs is super exciting. And then for it to immediately go from first playoff game into the Super Bowl has been a really a huge honor to me. All my friends from you know previous teams and they just everyone, the whole phone exploded when we won the NFC championship. And, uh, friends, family, former teammates, everybody was really stoked for me and said congratulations. Hey, Alex, yeah. how do you put in perspective the time you spent in Cleveland? There are several guys in this game who just who spent time with the Browns. Uh, we're very confident in the Browns. We work really hard to do the next thing. What did you have when we have on our team? They don't have respect for putting up in the struggles in Cleveland. So, somebody who's always decided to compete with one another. Trying to think of how I want to answer that. Uh, you know, it's been a hard, long, hard road. It's a lot of games. It's uh, been really tough to get to this stage. And I think you just, the more adversity you face in your previous careers or previous seasons, it teaches you uh, how tight games can be. And to use that opportunity to grow as a player and to keep working hard, to have it now pay off and to be in the playoffs and to be in the Super Bowl now has been really fun. Alex. Sorry for the Browns fans. It's kind of the nature of the business. Guys are all over on different teams, and uh, it's tough to see you know, your favorite player of another team go to another, somewhere else. Uh, I know I'm super excited to be on this team and to be here with this group of guys and playing on this stage. Alex, you you chose the Falcons over a litany of our teams in free agency. What did it? mean to you? What, did, what was said to you that got you to Atlanta over maybe some other options that you could have joined? I was really excited to come to Atlanta because I knew the system. I was with Kyle Shanahan when he was in Cleveland and I knew I could be successful in that system. I knew Matt Ryan was a really good quarterback. Julio Jones is an incredible receiver and there's all these pieces to the offense that I knew that I could join and I could contribute and we could have some real offensive success and it's been really fun to see that happen and really come to life this season. Alex, how did you guys develop a toughness on the offensive line to kind of get out of the stigma the Falcons were just an indoor soft team? Uh, I think last year they had a, they threw some really good games last year. Uh, I think it just took a while to really, to be really successful, it's a small margin of error. And a second season of really learning the offense and the guys really learning how to run the outside zone scheme and you could start 
from day one of the offseason program a full year ahead of where you were the year before and knowing where your aiming point had to be and the running backs had better job of pressing the point. Well, that's gone. Uh, it was just really fun to be able to start this season really fast. We were able to get there from first day of training camp, first game of the season, really have our offense rolling and everybody, the whole offense, really committed to the run. You can see our wide receivers on our outside zone scheme definitely like blocking hard and making those you know four or five yard runs really have a chance to break into 20, 30 yard runs. Alex, you work really hard. I'm sure diet's really important, but do you have a favorite cheat meal at all? Uh, I'm a lineman and I have a lot of cheat meals. Uh, it, you work really hard in the season and you have to, you obviously your body is important to you, but I'm a lineman. I, I need to eat a lot of food to keep weight on. Uh, it's uh, what would my favorite cheat meal meal it be? Uh, I'm a fan of sushi. It's always fun to go out and you know have a bunch of different rolls and try a bunch of different things. Eating is important to me, and I, I like doing it. And just lastly, if you didn't make it in the NFL, did you have a backup career in mind? Uh, I know I wasn't sure I was going to be able to play in college football. Uh, I wasn't a huge recruit coming out of high school. So I went to Cal Berkeley because I knew it was a great school. So the chance to go to Berkeley and be at an incredible institution and just to have a great you know, degree behind it was great. And then you know, football worked out and I, I didn't really have to worry about that. But I, I think that having you know, gone through school and seen other things, I think going to business school would be a really tempting option. <laughs> I think I was able to come here and contribute really quickly just in terms of work ethic. Uh, that's something I always really pride myself on as a guy that really likes to you know, work really hard every day in games, uh, be downfield and trying to extend plays and get that little extra inch of push. Uh, that's the kind of player I like to be, and I thought you know, that would be something that I could bring to any team I, I went to. Uh, I thought you know, when I was a free agent, like, oh, teams are going to really, you know, I can show up and I can really contribute. And, like, whatever interview I sit down and sat down at, I can be like, I'm absolutely going to try my hardest every day. I'll give you my absolute most every day. Repeat your question, sorry. Uh, I'm just saying, what's it like to be in the middle of this like going on to all the knowing your decision, whatever It's been really fun to be part of this offense. Uh, our success on offense is almost uncanny. I mean, the amount of guys we've had that been able to step up and score touchdowns for this team is incredible. I think we have 13 different guys catch touchdown passes, and to have that many guys be able to step up and like you know make a play has been really exciting. So just to be part of that group and just this this hunger, be the next guy up there, the next guy that's going to make that play, to see that all these different guys rotated into the huddle and you know whatever down or distance it is, whatever you know scenario it is, people are just really excited to be on that field and to get that next play and to just go out there and play hard. And so to be part of that has been really fun to be on that field and just be part of that excitement and really have that success. Kyle's OC has, has been fun to uh, play for just because the outside zone scheme is really friendly to offensive linemen. Uh, we love running the ball as offensive linemen, and when you run the ball and have a coordinator committed to running it, it helps you on pass plays. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mike, Mr. Mike. Oh, sorry. Uh, there's a, there a turkey leg there. I was I got distracted. Uh, it's really fun. Outside zone scheme, you can run outside and uh, balances the whole defense, keeps them honest. So you really want to run the ball and you can keep them honest. You don't always have to sit back pass, let them pin their ears back and really attack you. You can have that threat of outside rip zone scheme and really uh, just, it's a much fun way to play, more fun way to play the game and it's just easy. 
Alex, Alex. Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike, what, what, is what it do you, to play what do you think about this question? I just have one Mike. question. I see the board. Which of these pitches of me looks the best? I say bottom right. That's a good play. Good call. Yeah. Good call. It's, it's Mr. Mike. Is it fun to play football? Uh, whatever Kyle chooses to do after uh, the season, we wish him best of success. Um, he's a great coach. He's a very real guy. He has a really good offensive system, and we've had a lot of success because of him.